I'm going to make some Mediterranean garlic lemon chicken. They're, they have an abundance of garlic and lemons in the Mediterranean area. In order to start this dish, though, I have to make the beginnings of the sauce. If you've ever made 40 clove garlic chicken, this is somewhat like that, a little different in the way you prep it, though. So here we go. I've got 20 cloves, so just 20, not 40, of whole peeled garlic. Some of them got a little smashed along the way. I got, that's fine, no problem. I'm going to put them in a saucepan. And to it, I'm going to add two and a half cups of good chicken stock. Now, before I can proceed with the recipe, I have to put this on the stove, cover it, bring it to a simmer, and cook it there for about 40 minutes until all of the garlic gets really, really tender. Once that is done, then we'll come back and I'll show you how to proceed with the chicken. While the garlic cloves are cooking in the chicken broth, we can actually start cooking the chicken. I have an electric fry pan, you can do the stove top, it doesn't matter, and in it I have three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of just regular canola or vegetable oil. Um, you don't want anything fruity like olive oil in here. For my chicken, I've chosen ten chicken thighs. I am not going to season them at this time, I'm just going to brown them. So those will go in. I'm putting them skin side down so and get those browned first. That's a big thigh. All right, just going to rinse my hands. Be right back. Now, while that chicken is browning, I have a lemon. And what we want to do is peel and slice the lemon. So I cut off the ends. Make sure you have a really sharp knife for this. Okay. There is a trash can there, I promise. And then, just cutting down the sides, what you want to do is get down to this and remove all that white pith because that's gonna, that would be bitter. It won't make your dish taste very good. So you just continue slicing. And this is sort of up to you whether or not you wanna put one lemon in or two lemons in. It really kinda depends upon the size of your lemon. This looked like a big lemon to start, but look at how thick that rind is. And when I finish, there really isn't an awful lot of lemon left. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put in two lemons. I already have another one peeled. Get off that pith. And then you want to slice this lemon really thin. Okay, I'm going to put that lemon aside and I'll continue frying the chicken. And when the chicken is all nice and brown, I'll show you what the next step is. Well, the garlic is done. What I did is I strained the garlic so I have the whole cloves up here and the juice down here. And my chicken is pretty well browned, so I'm going to remove those to a baking dish. Here's that big one. That must have been one big chicken. Okay, for a moment we'll put that aside. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour off a little bit of this fat. We don't want all that fat in there, so about half of the fat in the juice. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do with these cloves, the whole cloves, is I'm going to take them and put them all around the chicken. We're not done with these cloves yet. They're going to still flavor this chicken a lot. Now, in the pan, I'm going to put like three tablespoons of flour. And with a whisk, start whisking it around. You want to cook this for about a minute. Get rid of that floury, raw flavor. And then I'm going to deglaze this. I've got three-quarter cup of a dry white 
wine. Anything you would drink. It could be a Riesling. It could be, a, a, no, probably more like a Chardonnay. You don't want a Riesling. That would be too sweet. So maybe a Chardonnay, which is what this is. And I'm going to put that in. Turn the heat up a little bit. I love that sizzle. Tells me it's deglazing the bottom of the pan. It's getting all that good junk up there. Ah, nice. Now, the rest of our juice, our broth, and whisk, whisk, whisk. Now, if you noticed, I did not salt or pepper those chicken thighs at all. I can add any salt or pepper now into this sauce and control it. You don't really even have to actually because with the garlic and the lemon. I'll let that sit for just a minute. Here are those lemon slices. I'm going to start putting those all around. And this is, I have two small lemons. I don't know if I'll use them all, but Oh, why not? And now I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in here. And a little bit of salt. I'm not going to put a lot of salt or pepper in here. I will let people at the table add their own salt and pepper. Some of us like to cut back on our salt intake. So, cook this. You can see how the sauce is getting nice and thick. Mmm, it smells good. Okay, I'm going to turn off the heat here. I'm going to grab a spatula, hold on, and I'm going to pour all of this sauce over my chicken. I don't know about you, but that looks good enough to eat. So <laughs> hopefully it will be. Now I'm going to cover this up with aluminum foil. My oven is heating up to 375, and this is going to go into the oven for 40 to 45 minutes until that chicken becomes fork tender. And when it's all done, I'll show you how it looks into the oven. Here is our Mediterranean lemon garlic chicken out of the oven. I've put it on a nice serving platter. I have added some small little boiled potatoes, some parsley for garnish. You are gonna love this chicken dish. Try it. <laughs>